my name is Amy Hogan Bernie, and um, I am, you know, someone's daughter and a wife and a mother, and I am a dog owner, and you, you might see that in the background as we go through this, because like everyone, I'm working from home um, during this pandemic. Um, I'm a former engineer turned attorney, and I'm really, really interested in public service. Um, and before coming to Microsoft, it was really important to me to work for the government. And so prior to my time um, in Redmond, I was in Washington, D.C., um, where I worked in a number of different government jobs, including at the FBI. Now, um, I am the manager of the Digital Crimes Unit, um, and I am super fortunate to lead just a fantastic group of attorneys and engineers and data scientists at Microsoft, where we really work to fight um, cybercrime. Well, a day in the life of me lately, for just like everyone, is spent mostly on the computer screen. Um, but, you know, there are basically three aspects to, to my job as the leader of DCU. The first is, is that I set kind of the global strategy for what we do, what types of cyber crimes we look at, including business email compromise, ransomware, malware distribution, and we really look for ways to proactively take down cyber criminals. We do that with a global team. So we have employees and, and engineers, lawyers, investigators, analysts throughout the world. This includes investigators, analysts in Latin America and in Europe, um, also in Asia. And so that means our time zones are completely different. So we have to get up super early in the morning and sometimes we work super late. Um, and the really sad thing now is, is we don't do the kind of travel that we used to be able to do. So I don't really see anyone or my team in person. Um, in addition to really driving strategy, I also spend a lot of time looking at our individual cases. So what cases we'll file in court, what civil pleadings we'll bring, how we'll work with law enforcement, what criminal referrals we'll make to really tackle the actual individual actor and cyber criminal. And then I'm really fortunate as the leader of DCU, I get to share our work externally. So I do a lot of public engagements. Um, I get to talk about all of the great things that we've done. And it's really, really important to me to make it clear that this is just such a team effort that we have at Microsoft. Um, I've learned a lot over my career, but there's one thing that I learned that I think was actually a hard lesson. And so I thought I would share that one, which is I learned that you don't have to be in every single room or part of every single project or do every single aspect of work yourself. And so controlling everything and working long hours, you know, really doesn't necessarily make you successful. What I've really learned is, is that it's important to understand your job, your role, your goals, and then prioritize work that reflects that. And then at the same time, it's important to understand what is important to you personally. So what really makes you happy, inspires you to be creative and do good work and prioritize that. And sometimes those priorities shift. Sometimes in your life, you'll spend more time on work and sometimes you'll be blessed and be able to spend more time on your personal life. But if you understand those things, it makes it really, really easy to drive work and to stay really passionate about your, what you're doing. I also found that it's really important to leverage the work of others, to really foster a team, to delegate, to work together and to celebrate others' success. So um, first, I am addicted to Legree, which if you haven't heard of it, it is um, like Pilates kind of with a little bit extra spice. It's always fun to look it up. Um, I love women who rock. I am like all about alt rock, K Flay, the interrupters, you name it. And I have the best playlists on Spotify that are public. I have a seven hour pandemic playlist. So if anybody's interested, I'm happy to, to share that. And also, um, and this one will surprise many people. I am loving cyber Twitter. So being on Twitter and seeing the opinions of all of the cybersecurity professionals, I just started in July um, and, and seeing some of the things that are highlighted, the differences in opinion on how we should be working in cybersecurity and in cybercrime. And some of the, the comments that I get 
um, that really helped to inform my thinking. A lot of them are completely contrary, and that's great. It's really, really good to hear those opinions. And so I'm at um, Cyber Amy HB on Twitter. So if you want to follow me, I also follow a number of cybersecurity professionals and uh, the media as well in this space. I started my career actually as an engineer, um, and I was a biomedical engineer. And my career started in Hawaii, uh, and I was designing artificial limbs and, and braces. And from there, we moved to Virginia. Um, my husband was in the Navy, and so I, for a time, went where he went and worked um, again as an engineer in Virginia and then decided I wanted to go to law school. I really thought I wanted to be a patent attorney because I wanted to keep that, that engineering aspect of my, my life and my brain going. And I started as a patent attorney and um, I, I really did not enjoy the work. And so recogn I recognized it pretty early on um, and I had to reinvent myself very quickly as an attorney. So I went and I was a law clerk in the District of Columbia Superior Court, which is one of the busiest courts in the United States. Um, I worked on, um, on cases involving minors who had been involved in criminal activity. So like nothing related to what I've done right now, except to really understand how the court works and to really understand how the legal system affects people. Uh, from there, I went into private practice for a while. And then I went back to being a law clerk because, you know, when you need to reinvent yourself this, as a lawyer, this is what you do. You go back to being a law clerk. I worked in the Court of Federal Claims on spent nuclear fuel cases. So if you are so inclined to know about what happens to, to nuclear fuel after it's disposed of, <laughs> I can answer all those questions. Um, and then I went to the FBI for a time um, working in first policy, which was deeply disappointing. Um, but I learned a tremendous amount. And then in terrorist financing and terrorist cases, um, and then in special intelligence and collection programs, and finally in cyber cases. Um, before I came to Microsoft, which I've been um, here for eight years, and I have had three jobs in, in that time. And so if you listen to all of that, I think there are kind of like three bottom lines, which is I was willing um, to, to move locations and change careers. Um, and I looked for a new job whenever I thought I needed a new challenge. Um, and then I spent a lot of time learning, and I still do, basically by listening to people, asking questions, um, and I had great people who supported me along the way, so family, mentors, professors, um, and, and really, that's how I got where I am. <laughs>